How y'all doing now? Good, good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Just got done eating dinner, so that was it. Y'all? Mm. Just um, got done chilling. Our cousin just left. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, then. Well, look, I ain't going to keep y'all too long. I just wanted to kind of, you know, like recap on the first videos that we that we both did and everything. And I... Uh, like pretty much like the first question I just, I really wanted to ask you both, was there anything that I missed in any one of you guys' interviews that you guys wanted to touch on? Okay. You could be honest now. Be honest. If I missed something that you guys wanted to say, just come out with it. I feel like there's nothing I could think about. I mean, there's always way more details to the stories, right? But no. I had a, I could I didn't really watch mine. I'm not lie. Like I watched bits and pieces, but I watched mm -hmm. yours was good. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> okay. All right. So, what details would you guys say that we miss? <laughs> you ain't gotta be nervous. It's good. It's good. Everything's good. We didn't talk about when we learned. We learned how to help each other. True. Talk about it. Yeah, so when we were in, um, if you don't mind me sharing. <laughs> okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> when we were in, um, uh, not, when did we do it? It wasn't inpatient rehab. Day rehab. Okay, it was day rehab. So we were already both mm. at home. Okay. I realized, like, the type of support that we had. Mm -hmm. And obviously, Ashley's a quadriplegic and I'm a paraplegic. Mm -hmm. So we were like, um, like, before we leave day rehab, we should try to make sure we know how to help each other, like, okay, for emergency purposes. And we were mm -hmm. happy. I feel like it happened, like, what? Days. Like, we um really just needed to learn. So I asked my PT, like, hey, would you be able to um schedule me and Ashley together so we mm -hmm. can learn how to, like, I can know how to transfer her. I already knew how to, like, help her with other parts of her care, but I didn't yeah. know how to that was the one thing I was like, I don't ever want someone not to come and she can't mm. she has to stay in bed all day. And like, okay. we do like to do things. Yeah. So I already know that I would feel it was like a selfish reason, but also like mm -hmm. a helpful reason. Right. Okay. Selfish all right. So whose idea was it? I think kind of both. Right? Yeah. I think it was kind of both of us. Like Ashley mm. realized the care situations. Okay. And I was like, um, like I'm willing to learn. Mm -hmm. They were scary at first, and sometimes they still are. <laughs> sometimes Trust I think me, I understand. <laughs> mm -hmm. But like today's was really good. Today you were golden, baby. <laughs> so yeah, ten out of ten. And yeah, so it's that was a process in itself, right? Learning. I don't think we mm -hmm. both talked about that much, but I didn't know how much of that you wanted to share. That's probably why I didn't bring it up. Mm, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, was there any details that you guys didn't add that you wanted to add now? Is there anything after that you were like, I want to add? Not that I can personally think of. Okay. That was like, that we like missed. I'm sure there's things like if you were to ask a question, like, oh yeah, no, I remember. Mm -hmm. But. No, like not. Okay. I mean, there's so much layers when I feel like when someone gets injured, like, yeah. you know, it like, is. Oh, made me forgetful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Trauma all right, then. All right, then. So then instead of really going in it into depth about that, let's let's really just get into depth about you, both of you. Like, uh, let's get to know both of you. Um, I don't know. Like, we could just we can go back and ask questions back and forth. If you want to, because I'm pretty sure, I guess any questions that you guys will ask, they probably don't know about me. So, you know, mm -hmm. like, let's just, I don't know, like, I don't know, like, let's just jump into it. My first question for the both of y'all. What's your dream career? Ooh, that's a good mm -hmm. question. Yeah. Now I, ooh, now I won't lie, I would love to be, like, um, 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 like a YouTuber. Okay. <laughs> I think it would be cool to get paid. I always mm -hmm. thought it would be cool to do that, but since I've gotten disabled, like I think it would just be so cool to have a job where I can work from home. Mm -hmm. But also I still do have a passion for teaching. 
and like okay. live with Adrian. So even that would be cool too. Okay. The Jews don't make any money, but that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't make too much. They can make a lot more. They really should. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what was your dream job before your accident? My dream job before my accident is I, I had wanted to go back to school for my master's and um, oh. like deal with kids who um, were abused. Okay. Well. Yeah. Okay, so, all right then. Four. All right then. So what about you, Ashley? What's up? Let us know. Dream career. What's up? Mm-hmm. Dad's over here in the corner making me nervous. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to Pops. <laughs> Tell him I say. Hey. <laughs> <I'm sending. laughs> Hey, how you doing? Going to bed. <laughs> I couldn't hear. <laughs> he said, hey, Kev, I'm going to bed. <laughs> Tell him I said, hey. I'm trying to rhyme. <laughs> oh, I say. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Okay, dream career. Dream career. Back to the top. Dream career. I would say now, definitely. Hmm. A good one. I know your dream career. I know your dream career. Okay, I know. Go. What she used to want to be on E News. That was before your accident. Oh yeah. A what? A what? News. She always loved entertainment news, which I used to think was so annoying. Like she would just talk about pop artists all the time. Uh, okay. <laughs> still do. In times I'm like, Ash, I don't care. I don't care. You know what? I'm the same way. I'm the same way. I guess I just know like all the tea. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> She knows all the tea. Like, okay, you know what? You know what? All right, but give us some recent tea. Give us some recent stuff. Yeah, some recent stuff. Let's go. Come on, let's go. You put it. The influencer world can been pretty boring. Mm, Okay, it's been a little quiet. It's been a little quiet. Justin Bieber's on tour. Yeah, Justin Bieber's on tour. Russ is going on tour. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Post Malone about to come out with an album. Oh really? Oh my god, I love him. Mm, I think it just got announced today. It's called, what is it called? It's called like 10 Carat Diamond, it's something like that. I don't know. That's going to be good. I saw Post Malone in concert. He was good. For real? Okay. I saw Drake in concert. Drake was good. Oh, that would be. Yeah, Drake was lit. Drake was lit. Let me see. Let me see who was my favorite. Uh, I say the most lit. Well, well, because I went to the Summer 16 tour, me and my wife, and we went and saw the Drake, Drake and Future. So, like, that was like super lit. But my favorite I ever saw was. It's, it's probably going to be weird. It, not weird, but it's gonna, probably going to be like a little out there. It was Little Uzi. So I don't know if y'all know who that is. Mm-hmm. It was just, <laughs> it was lit. Look, like, it was it was, it was was crazy. All right, just know. it. Was, but I ain't going to lie. Future by itself, because I seen Future by itself without Drake. But Future by itself, that, that was like, that was like a life-changing event for me. Like that was kind of crazy too, though. But Future, I mean, but Little Uzi was probably like my favorite though. As far as like that, I saw perform. Okay, okay, that's a good question. What's your favorite concert? My favorite concert. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Ooh. Many. I love concerts. Logic was a good one. I saw Mm. him twice. Okay. Both times good. Both times great. Danny (laughs) Lay. Oh, Danny Lay was good. She was good, and it was when she was a smaller artist too. So Mm. like. You know, just don't okay. get that experience again because now she's bigger. I feel like now it was like at a little bar. She mm-hmm. went to the audience. She yeah, was, okay. It was cool. She was dancing. It was cool. Okay. <laughs> okay, um, what was your first concert? Your okay. very first concert? Well, our first concert, I don't count it, but it does count. It was when we went to the B96 Pepsi Summer Bash. True. Where they had like a bunch of artists. Oh, okay. The radio that stadium. counts. Chicago. Yeah, yeah. It was really cool. Yeah. Joe but, Jonas was there. Yeah. My baby daddy, Joe Jonas, was there at the time. <laughs> it was my baby daddy at the time. So, who else? Okay. Respectfully, because he's married now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mine was, my first concert was, I think it was Future. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I went. I went and seen him in like this, like hole in the wall club in LA, and it was crazy. It was crazy, and, and like and like the best part too was was that uh, like when you go to like events or like uh, concerts and stuff like that, a lot of the times the wheelchair accessible seating be really good. It'd be a little bit more though, but it'd be really good though. 
Yes, me mm-hmm. and Ashley went to a concert back in November. So and Chicago mm-hmm. art. It was Chicago R&B art. Yeah, R and B artists, um, like all women. Like Anne Marie yeah. was there. Tink, and then a, like okay. even smaller artists from Chicago who are all R and B. And we had different seats, and they moved us straight down the middle. We the, they were much better seats. Yeah, way better. We were like, we were like, oh, are these the wheelchair too? perks? That was our first concert Ooh, in our. Church. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, the perks be good sometimes. <laughs> look, look, you you really gotta take advantage of the perks when you can, all right? They, they really do be good. <laughs> what happened? I'm hoping the disabled perks happen at the Bieber concert. Oh my god. Oh look, they look, they're gonna be good. Trust me. Trust me. Uh, uh what type of seating did y'all get? Yeah, y'all... not very good because he was almost sold out when I bought tickets. Like, I mean, but I mean, but the companion seat didn't be good anyways, though. Both y'all got tickets, or just just you, Ashley? No, both of us. Oh, so y'all both believers, huh? I'm not a believer. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. okay. So you just supporting? No, don't please don't put me on the believer oh. list. You like oh. it? <laughs> I like his music, like but I'm not a believer. Can't like I cannot listen to it on repeat like you do. I tell you, please, mm. patient, baby girl, and you don't. This and way- you know what's so crazy is I didn't bring this up, whatever me and you spoke last time, Ashley, but I remember when Justin Bieber was posting on YouTube like 15 years ago. Yeah. I remember that. So that's crazy. <laughs> yes. I am a believer through and through. <laughs> I think you said that in your podcast. <laughs> she did. <laughs> <laughs> she like her some Justin Bieber. Okay, okay. Her in her room when we were growing up, like sharing mm-hmm. TMI, but she had posters on every wall. Mm. Oh, okay. So y'all was those type of girls with posters on the walls and stuff like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I didn't have not one poster on my wall. I don't even think I had any decoration on my wall, to be honest with you. Really? Like, yeah. I mean, guys really ain't like that. Some guys are, but I mean, if you unorganized, you ain't, you ain't got no posters on your wall. I was unorganized as a kid. <laughs> my room was always dirty, you know, stuff like that. So. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Okay. Room. All right. If money was no object, what would be? You know what? If mo- let me see, let me see. Hold on. Let me switch yeah. that up. Let me let me switch that up. Let's make a let's make a better one. All right. Um. Hmm. You know what? Let's go with your dream car. Let's go. Let's go with that one. Wow. See, I don't know much about cars. What? Talk- okay. Okay. Huh? with the first car that I had mm-hmm. that I was driving so much. My Jaguar. Ooh, okay. Oh, your first car. That was like a low-key flex right there, though. <laughs> Is that right, right? You know what I mean? She kind of like, right? He gave me lots of issues. But oh, okay. It was one of them. Was, one. Okay. Nice. I yeah. did like your Jag. She I was nice, driving. and she drove nice. I never had my own car. You know what I'm saying? What? I'm a okay. little jealous. Oh. <laughs> mm. Okay. Okay. So I, I'm guessing you got the Jaguar whenever you went off of school, correct or not? Nah? Well, not when I went off to school. Actually, in college, I didn't have a car. Oh, okay. Because my college wasn't a small town, so like you need to drive everywhere. But mm, okay. Yeah, but I got okay. around. Okay. <laughs> All right. I ain't gonna lie. You did low key kind of flex on us though. Yes, you did, right? She, right. My my first car was like a 1991 Grand Marquis, you know. So my first car was non-existent. <laughs> first car. Oh, dude. My first car was non-existent. I was a <laughs> limousine. Jeez. Hey, hey, look, y'all both twins, so you know, what I mean, like the Jaguar can kind of like carry over to you, though. So that's kind of like that's low key your first car too, though. I'm pretty sure you whipped it I around. I picked her up all the time. When you I moved, did. Yeah, when I moved back home, she always had. Hello, Ash. Can you pick me up? I'm at the grocery store. You should come. Mm. <laughs> well, I'm going to okay. pick the bus. Of course, I'm going to pick her up. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, was it that you ain't have a car because you couldn't drive? Or, like, what? Like, like, please tell me you got your driver's license before, though. <laughs> yeah. I had my driver's okay. license since I was okay. in high school. But okay. just in Chicago, like, you could take the buses and trains everywhere. True. So, like... And I always worked downtown, so I was never going to drive. Like, that's expensive. So I was just, and I went to school mm. downtown. You didn't need a car. Like, I was going to take the yeah, train in. Parking downtown is, is pricey. Unless you're uh, paying for it. Yeah, unless you're uh, it. it. really I is. Uh, yeah, I ain't going to, I hate, one thing I really hate is paying for parking, especially when I go somewhere. What's the parking price where you guys live at? Like, 
um where what is it like on the street but like downtown could be from like look. the cheapest and that's if you're only staying there for like 30 minutes it's like 20 dollars, and then it just goes up and up and up you can pay like 90 bucks sometimes just to park damn yeah it was it was like that whenever we went to new york it was <laughs> like you know like you going out to eat for dinner and parking 35 dollars yeah. It's like what? Yeah, it was it was crazy, and then there's literally no parking at all. So yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that was kind of that was kind of crazy. But damn, but I can see why you wouldn't have a car though. Makes a lot of sense. And I was Makes a, a lot of sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I would definitely have to get a bus pass then, to be honest with you. Yeah, and yeah. I only got my car because that was I got my car right before I had moved to Kansas City, Missouri. Oh, Which, okay. like, like when you came back from college. Yeah, after I came back, moved back home from college for a few months, and then I moved. Mm, okay, okay, okay. So, so what eventually ended up happening to the car? It's still there. <laughs> oh, it's still there. Okay, what color is it? Gray. Or silver. Gray. Ooh. Okay, silver. silver. Okay. I like that color. I like that color. That's a nice color. It is nice. Okay. Okay, what year is it? You know what? What year and model, so we can kind of get a feel for, for what type of car Ashley used to, you know, whip around town. <laughs> flex is so hard, baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> she she did um, flex on us though. <laughs> you really did. Um, <laughs> what year? It's either it's o three or o five Jaguar. Okay. How do you guess two years different? I know, but I don't know which one it is. It's either o three or o five. I want to say o five. I'm like okay. It drives okay. fast. That's all I fast? remember. Ooh, okay. I like to go fast now. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, all right. All right. All right. All right. We're gonna switch it up. We're gonna get away from the car thing. All yeah. right. Favorite okay. actress or actor? Let's go. Okay. I I'll give you mine first. I'll give you mine first if you want me to go. Yeah, you go, go first. All right. All right. All right. Look, I'm a big Leonardo DiCaprio fan. Okay. All right. That's yeah. my guy. That's my guy. Any movie is any movie he's in is a hit, except for kind of the last one that they came out with. But it could have been a hit if they didn't take the comedic approach. I feel like if it would have been more of a serious movie that they came out with, it would have been amazing. Yeah. The one he came out with on Netflix, I think it's like called like Don't Look Up or something. You have to watch that one. Yeah. I haven't watched it though. You ain't seen it. It's actually really good. It's about like. It's, uh, I don't know. It's a whole bunch of like, I don't know. It's, I don't know. it's called Don't Look Up. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, that's the one. Don't Look Up. That's the one with Ariana Grande, right? <laughs> is Ariana Grande? I think she is in it. I think she is in it. You know what? I actually went to an Ariana Grande concert too. She was kind of lit. Oh, you got Ashley. When did you go? Trigger. We went in. I think 2018. What was that album? Oh, I forgot the album that she had came out with. Sweet Night. Wait, she had, or was that Thank You Next? I think it was Thank You Next. Yeah, that was I because think, she took one of the videos. Is it the one that got like Bad Idea on it? Yep. Yep. That, actually, mm-hmm. I really like that song a lot. So Yeah. But yeah, I, yeah, I like that one. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. She was kind of dope in concert. A whole bunch of costume changes though, but it, it was cool. It was cool. I like it. I like it. Oh. Yeah. Can I tell your story? Yeah, I was actually supposed to the year we got injured. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I had bought tickets and it was probably that same tour that you saw. So if you have videos, mm-hmm. send them my way. <laughs> you know what? All right, I'll look and see if I got videos. I got you. <laughs> and and I couldn't go because I was at we were at rehab still. Mm, okay. So I actually ended up giving the tickets to a PCA's daughter that mm-hmm. really Loved Ariana Grande, and she was just talking about it one day. And I said, "You know, I have tickets, but I'm not gonna go because I'm here." <laughs> and all I asked for was for her to send me videos, and she did. <laughs> okay, okay. You wanna know what's so crazy is I can't even believe I forgot about it, but I proposed to my wife right after the Ariana Grande concert. Aww. So yeah, yeah. So you know, she she went to this dope concert, and then she got this fat ring. You know, so it was it was kind of dope. It was kind of dope. Yeah, I had a good time. I had a really good time at the concert. It was super packed though, too. Oh, that's mm-hmm. so it was, Did you do it in the stadium or like no. how you guys left? No, it was after I left. It, I felt like it would have been kind of cheesy to do it in the stadium because you, you really couldn't hear anything either because it was like it was like crazy loud and crazy loud. like I don't know. Her merch was like her, I her merch was actually pretty nice too. So uh, I, 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 I bought my wife like a couple of them sweaters too. That shit was expensive. <laughs> it was not cheap. I don't even think the tickets were cheap. 
Were they? She wasn't going to go with me. <laughs> Don't be fake. I Did you buy one ticket or two tickets? I had two. Who was you going with? Who was you going with? My friends at the time. Or my sister. Mm. Mm. Okay. Nikki was, Nikki's okay. not even an Ariana Grande fan. No, but not. she's acting fake. <laughs> mm-hmm. I wasn't an Ariana Grande fan either. You know, but my wife was. But honestly, her concert and like the music that she came out with on that album, like I had to listen to it because we was going. That made me a fan. It made me a fan. Like I really appreciated it. Like, like it was some good music. I liked it. Yeah, see, I'm not like an OG Ariana Grande fan. I didn't become a mm-hmm. fan until the album right before Thank You Next Sweetener. Oh, okay. That's when I became a fan. I really like that album. I love Thank You Next, okay. and then I love her most recent. So I'm okay. like a newer Ariana Grande fan. Okay. You know? I mean, well, well, if you are a newer one, then I'm a newer, newer one because I came, you know, I became a fan like after that, but I mean, I kind of fell off since then, though. But, you know, I, I like her. She's pretty, she pretty dope. Yeah, she hasn't come out with any new music. She needs to. She does. <laughs> she does. Ever since the whole Pete Davidson thing. So. <laughs> right. Well, now she's married. She oh oh she did get I'm married. Like, you know, see, yeah, she knows all the tea. Yeah. yeah, she do know all the tea. You know, you know what? Look, look, T channel. You know, that's yeah. popping on YouTube. That's popping on YouTube for real. Right. I could be like the you know? one, from, like the disability community this week. <laughs> Nah, look, nah, baller alert, the shade room. Look, it's bigger than that. Look, I'm telling. Look, I ain't gonna look. You could do something like that. You, I follow the shade room. I follow baller alert. I follow Hollywood Unlocked. You know. <laughs> you know so. The cheese man. Look, I'll tell. <laughs> huh? <You> spill. <laughs> There's like YouTubers chills. Yeah, YouTubers. Tea channels too, where they spill. Oh, trust YouTube. me, I know. I know, I know. Yeah. I, that's why I said. That's why I said she could do it on YouTube though, because I know it's a, look. It's really a lane for that, you know. Mm-hmm. So you know, look. Everybody likes some tea now. Everybody yeah. like a little drama. Everybody like look. I'm. T- they do. They do. Look. The fame. Look. Everybody following the famous people. So when the little drama happened, everybody be curious about it, you know. So I could definitely, I could definitely see a little, you know, Ashley's tea or something like that. Tea with you know, just you know, just something like that, you know. Just some, mm-hmm. just some. Some with the tea. Yeah, you know? <laughs> they always some, you know, some, some with Jennifer Lopez and uh, Ben Affleck. You know, some stuff like that. You know, how big that ring really is, how much it really costs. You know, we, we need to know: is, is it really worth ten million? You know, <laughs> I just say. Facts. I ain't seen the ring. You seen the ring? For um, J Lo. No, yeah, uh huh. Yeah, because yeah. apparently, apparently she got the apparently she got the ten million dollar ring. I don't know. Like I said, I'd be up in, I'd be up in, I'd be up in the stuff. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be. Looking. I knew she got engaged, but I didn't even see. I, didn't even I love J Lo. I think she's beautiful. She alright. Uh huh. He said she's alright. She getting a little old now, though, but she alright though. She look cool though. She cool. I mean, I don't really. J Lo cool. I don't, she alright. She of course, you know, she all right. <laughs> she, uh, she all right though. You know, I, I feel bad because I'm Puerto Rican saying that, but she all right. She cool. Oh, all right. You- what happened? You're Puerto Rican. Mm-hmm. Okay, represent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I probably don't put it out there as much as I should, but yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm half and half. My dad's Puerto Rican. My mom black. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so my dad, my dad, so my dad is literally my dad is y'all guys' complexion. He like no lie, and we kind of look like twins. It's kind of like weird. It's like I'm the dark one, he's the light one. <laughs> so is your mom darker then? Yeah, uh huh. So my mom, my mom's like my complexion, and my dad is your complexion. Okay, Aww. that's our our dad is like a shade lighter than you, I would say, right? Yeah. Mm. Um, okay. And then we're pale. He always says we're not his kids, but <laughs> we look like him. Like you have his face. Yes. Okay. 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 So, are you guys both full Puerto Rican? No. no. So, oh, you go. You go. So we're half Puerto Rican. Our mom's Puerto Rican, and then our dad is French Creole. Oh, okay. You got some exotic up in there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, some French Creole. Okay, so y'all like, do y'all like spicy food or, or oh, yes. what's up? Oh, yes. Spicy all the way. 
spicy all the way. Okay, I like spicy too. I'm a big spicy fan. Okay, okay. Have you ever been? Have you ever been to New Orleans? No, actually. So we never been to New Orleans, but we have family like six hours from New Orleans, and that's oh, okay. we were just in Louisiana in November. Okay. The little okay. Road I just I just went to New Orleans not too like a few months ago and it was a little different. I I liked it out there. The, the food was pretty good, but it was a little different though. It was a little different. Like they got like the French quarters down there. So like and then they also got like you know like a big. It's like a you know like seafood like crawfish t- type stuff. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. All the mm-hmm. what happened? Our family. We, so that's like the country in Louisiana where our family is mm-hmm. from, and like um. Get a long table and they just throw all the crawfish on the table and we go ham. Mm. Uh, now with you know, panoramas. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> one crazy, th- one crazy thing I saw was all the grave sites are above ground. Yeah, so it was they that- go floating, right? Yeah, or it was, it was. I don't. I really can't tell you, but I just. I thought it was actually pretty cool though. I like how they did it because it was all like like. I don't know, like they were some nice grave sites. It was like, damn, I wouldn't be buried in something like that. It was mm-hmm. nice. I, I liked it. I, but I, I thought that was kind of unique. Water. Mm, I think so. Something like that. I th- I th- yeah, or it's it's like something to do with that. That's what they mm-hmm. give. And then all those people would be. The more you know. Oh, the more it would be fine. <laughs> RIP. Respectfully. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right then. All right then. All right. All right. Now, next question. What's you guys' favorite movie? Oh, I'm such a child, but I love the Lorax. A, the Lorax. Okay. You know, I ain't never seen that one. I know movie talking about, but I never saw it. I love kid movies. Like. Okay. I'm a kid. Okay. So I, okay. 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 The Lorax. I. I mean, Toy Story is pretty dope too, though. <laughs> Toy Story. Oh yes, I used to love. Well, I still do, but it's a little yeah. But I love Toy Story. <laughs> mm-hmm. I love okay. Toy Story one, two, three, and four. We went into the Toy Story four in the rain. I made you go. Remember? <laughs> yeah, in our wheelchairs. <laughs> For real. Because <laughs> it came out right when we got out the hospital. I was like, I need to mm. see. It, yeah, we're all I still waiting. haven't. I still haven't seen that one. You have to. Is it good? Yeah, nothing's like the first and second one, in my opinion, mm. but it was good. Yeah. Okay. It's all good. I love how they just, I love how Toy Story, how they tell the story. It's so cute. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's funny. Ashley always laughs at me because I like kids stuff. Yeah. So I think your child funny. comes out. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Um, okay. I have a child heart. I don't want to go. What's your favorite? I know, I know, I know. The vow. No, that's a that's a, up there. <laughs> the Dear John. Oh. Oh my gosh. Hey, uh, see, mm. that was favorite, like I would say my like I love Channing Tatum in movies. I, I was just talking to my wife about him yesterday. <laughs> I was watching I was watching Dog, but I didn't get to finish it. Which I don't one? know if you've seen it. Dog. It, I I th- it just came out. It's called Dog, but it, it's with Channing Tatum and something. I think. He was in like the military or something like that, and something happened. And then like he tries to get one of the dogs that was like a service dog in the military. And I look like I said I, I only got like twenty minutes in, but I ain't finished it. <laughs> but Chan, but Channing Tatum, Channing Tatum is a really good actor, though. I give it to him. Oh. I give it to him. My favorite movie would definitely have to be The Dark Knight. The Dark Knight. Yeah, okay. I've never seen it. Is that a superhero movie? Oh yeah. my god! Oh, see, like this is like I'm, me. And- I, I I might have to cut this out. To, I might <laughs> look. I I can't believe you ain't. I can't believe you don't know what that is. You know, I think so, right, Batman? Right? <sighs> no. no. Yeah. You know, it is. It is. It is. It is. It's definitely. Because I was like, actually, let me watching this superhero stuff. Like he used to watch. Mm. Yes, just watch that show. Mm-hmm. That, what is it called? The Flash. Ooh, what's your favorite show? Oh, oh my favorite God. show, favorite show. Uh, One Tree Hill. I, for me. Ah. What happened? One Tree Hill. One Tree Hill. Mm-hmm. What's that about? So, <laughs> don't it's get about, it started. Well, the basics. It's basically about two brothers. They're half brothers. Okay. Same dad, different moms. 
Okay. Um, they both play basketball and the dad's not in one of the kids' lives. Mm-hmm. They have like a hatred for each other because it's a small town. They go to the same school. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And then happen, you know, drama with girls and stuff. And mm-hmm. it shows them through high school and then they have like a five year jump like and see them as a girl. Okay. Okay. It's a really good show. Emotional right. makes right. you feel good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. What about you, Nikki? Ooh, see, I asked the question. I don't even know. Oh, you know. Okay, I'll go. Okay. All right. I think. I think. All right. I'm rewatching it right at right now. I'm rewatching it because I'm trying to see, but I would have to go with Breaking Bad. Right I would have that's to. I would. This that's on my list. I was thinking of that yeah. one. It's, it's either the but, but like I said, I'm rewatching the Sopranos right now because I'm trying to see which one I like more. So it's like okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Breaking Bad's a good. One. I was that was in my house. I, I never got into Breaking Bad, one. Queen of the South, or um, Power. Oh, that was good. I I I couldn't get into Power. I couldn't get it. You know what? You know what? Because I was a big fan of uh, Empire when it first came out. Only the first season. After that, just tank went. Definitely went down. Really did agreed. Yeah, and I never yeah. actually finished the show, but that was a good show too. I never finished. Yeah. It, and wasn't it based in Chicago? I think or something like that. Mm-hmm. Right in New York. Was it? Well, they filmed here. Well, they filmed here. Yeah, they filmed here, but it was based in New York. Backwards, okay. but. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, do they film like a lot of movies and stuff in Chicago? Yeah, they yeah, have they even film. like uh, on the south side of Chicago, they have the what is it? The show is called which one? The Med ones and Chicago PD, yeah. Chicago Fire. Oh, okay. Uh, what's the other one? Chicago. They got a lot of Chicago ones. Yeah, they have all the Chicago. They ones. filmed Shameless here. The American version okay. of Shameless. You visited those homes? Yeah, I visited those homes because I like the show Shameless. Never finished the last season. But... Okay. What was, else did they film? They filmed, they filmed so much stuff. So a lot of movies. Transformers. Transformers. That was mm. a scene. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That River one was filming outside my job one time and they blocked off the whole street. Oh, Riverdale, kind of right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, and then in the other movies one time, because when I used to work at a bar, they even would shoot in this alley. By the mm-hmm. bar that I worked at, and there would be so many movies I don't even know being shot there. And sometimes the act, I wouldn't even know the actors sometimes when they would come in. I actually mm-hmm. follow. <laughs> I'd be like, I, oh hi. I follow a page on Twitter that always posts all the movies that are like here. Oh. Mm-hmm. But they have to like you know put it somewhere. Yeah, so you have they, to plan it. Yeah. That's why on- even when they were filming those shows like a couple blocks away from our house, they had all those signs like because they have to let you know in case you get in frame. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All that stuff and all the legal legalities about it, and then they always have all the trucks, yeah, and all the cords. So it's very dangerous. And the breakup just... has a scene here. I was thinking of more movies. <laughs> okay, I like that movie, The Breakup with uh, Vince Vaughn. Mm-hmm. That one was yeah. that one they showed that bowling alley. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm, a, I'm a big, I'm a big movie, I'm a big movie person. So I pretty know all the movies you're talking about, but I'm a big movie person. I like movies. I like movies. Wow. Okay. Uh, what? Oh, Oprah. 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 What's one of there? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's a, okay. That's a big one. That's a big one. Okay. You know what? If you if you guys ever got the chance, would you want to star in a movie? Uh, I don't know. Mm, okay. right. Now look. Now look. They they do got. They, look. They got a lane for people that's in wheelchairs that are actors now. They, they do. I was just watching the episode of The Sopranos yesterday. Somebody in the wheelchair had a little small little two-second roll, but it was something. All right. Or 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 I might be getting him on a podcast. He's supposed to be coming on the podcast. Wheelchair Poppy. You feel me? He, oh, I love him. He's so sweet. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, I think he just did like an AT&T commercial or something like that. So, <laughs> hey, hey, look, shout out to him. You know, look, hey, look, we making moves out here. We making yeah. moves out here, so that's gonna be a good one. I look forward. To. Mm-hmm. So for anybody watching the pack, uh, the podcast, look, anything is possible. All right, all right. Look, you can become an actor. Look, we need to see somebody in a wheelchair go to space. That's what we need to see. Period. Yeah. Volunteers tribute. No. <laughs> yeah. You, you know what? Would you go to space if you could? 
I don't think so. <laughs> you wouldn't want to be on one of the little Blue Origin flights or nothing like that. Come on, look thirty, look thirty seconds in space. Come on, you ain't bad. With Jennifer Lawrence, where they get stuck in the space. Oh, I like that movie. It's called what is it called? Um, it was a good movie, but movie. I won't go to space. Mm. What movie? Who else is in it? There's what like- is it's called? It's it's with the dude. I think it's with the. It's called the Passengers. I think. Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't yeah. think I've ever seen that. You need I'm to. I'm not a person because I always fall asleep. Mm, sounds like my wife. She twenty sec, twenty minutes in, she's knocked out. Yeah, so I feel yeah. like I saw movies, and then I'll be like, yeah, yeah I saw it. Maybe my my eyes did. Mm-hmm. I hey, it's fine. Movies just ain't what you think. Books probably are. I don't know. Just saying. I if you don't podcasts. like, oh, uh, you like podcasts? You said. Yeah. Favorite podcast. Oh my gosh, that's hard. Currently. Currently? Or name mm-hmm. your top your top three. I really like Jay Shetty's podcast. That's okay. a good one. Um, okay. I really been liking yours. Okay, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Look, we officially ain't got no name for it yet, but but it's coming. It's coming. Okay. It's that's coming. Easy, right? Write it down. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> you do your free, right? <laughs> and what else? And I listen to a lot, so give okay. me from the throne. Um, from the throne, they're also okay. a disability podcast. Okay, if you've ever watched them? It's three of them. Three okay, I might have to check it out. I ain't, I've never heard of it. So, so you yeah. said it's Lord. from the throne. Yes, I like that. I like that. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out tonight. Okay, two dudes, one girl. So oh, okay. I give them perspectives. It's nice. I like their podcast. They're funny too. They make me laugh. <laughs> Okay, and I like it. I really like my other. I listen to, and then there's like a. I listen to some spiritual ones. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. You know, yeah. take me to church. Mm, okay. uh, <laughs> there's some of those. There's like one called the same room. Mm-hmm. That does ones like that. Yeah, so I'm kind of all over the board. Okay. I used to listen to criminal ones, but I had to stop because it was getting me paranoid. <laughs> As of 2022, I no longer listen to those. criminal ones. Like, uh, like what? Like going to prison or like prison stories or what? No, like um, murder she stories or like um, people oh, get kidnapped. What was that oh. one that you watched on Netflix? I'm um, glad I didn't watch that one. Night, the Nighttime Stalker. That, but that was a documentary. That wasn't a podcast. No. Oh, <laughs> same difference. I like documentaries. I, uh, I I love a good documentary for. for she gets really scared. Do. She leaves the room. When I yeah, watch I won't watch. I don't watch them stuff. anymore though because I was being paranoid. Okay. I need to stop. Okay. What about you, Ashley? No, like podcast or whatever you're liking. Mm, yeah. I like like a little bit of everything. Okay, you, know you like that? you like lip service? Just ask, just throwing that out there. What <laughs> what's that? It's it look. It's like a drama one. My wife be watching it. It's with Angela Lee from the Breakfast Club. It's like you know, like I don't know. Like she be interviewing like rappers and you know, like just little stuff like that. It's like a little, it's like a little T one. So I, I just threw that one up in there. Okay, okay. You okay. gotta check it out, right? Mm-hmm. I like. That. I do like him. Like the Breakfast Club. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, <laughs> they're not bad. They're they're good. Not bad. They mm-hmm. interviewed Russ recently. I was watching it, or not recently, but it was old. But I was watching it recently. Oh, that's from, oh mm-hmm. yeah. I do okay. watch when Zach Zing. I don't know who that is. His interviews are good. It's crazy how different me and Ashley do not know. Like about like I'm confused sometimes with the things she's watching. Like I feel mm. old. Like, I feel old and watching your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know what you're talking. About. Isn't it weird? Yeah, and I always think it's crazy how people could have like you know the millions, billions, whatever followers, and like you don't even know them, and like we live together. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, who's that? I'm like, exactly. exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think it's so weird how the internet works, but anyway. <laughs> you never found Kevin. Yeah, like I didn't know who you were till like last week. Look, <laughs> nobody, nobody knows who I am for real. For real. Like, let's be honest. <laughs> The last week. No, for real. <laughs> let me see. Let me see. My favorite pot. You know what? I really like the Joe Rogan experience. Like, I okay. mean, I mean, but ever since he went to ever since he went to Spotify, I really ain't been watching as much. But okay. another one is it's one called mi- a mi- uh it's called Million Dollars Worth of Million Dollars Worth of Game. That one's a good one too. Like they interview like rappers and stuff like that. Probably wouldn't be uh thing but it's actually pretty dope though they be yeah. lit on there they be lit they be lit they be lit it's I like cool people who eat 
interview like celebrities or like music artists. Mm. That's Egg Zane. He interviews. Mm. I've never heard of him. Artist. Mm. Okay. He never popped up on my For You page. <laughs> I recently wow. watched the Nicki Minaj one with Joe Budden. Is that his name? Yeah, Joe Budden. That one was. It was good to hear Nicki. I used to love Nicki Minaj. Kind of fell off of her, but. Mm, so you fell off of her and you became a Cardi B fan or what happened <laughs> <laughs> what happened there I kind of like started gearing away towards rap a little bit just okay like, I feel like it's a very, it's always the same but that's just my personal opinion mm, okay okay what's your favorite genre of music right now then R&B R&B okay <laughs> I love R&B mm. that's why the concert that we went into in November was because I was like I bought the tickets and I was like you're coming with me <laughs> Mm. Who so was I, it? Who'd y'all go see? It was the R and B artist of like all the Chicago. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. But the okay. big artist was Tink and Anne Marie. Okay. They're like, okay. They're like the bigger so what's name. What's that ones. one you like that was there? Yeah, and then there was like a local Chicago artist named BGR and TK, something like Nick, something like that. Mm-hmm. I can never say her name, and she was there too. So it was like a lot of artists that I like because it was R and B. Okay. And found some new ones too, like small Chicago artists. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right, well, look, well, look, I ain't going to keep you guys too much longer, but I do want to ask you guys this question, all right? For anybody watching us right now that's in the hospital currently, what advice would you give them? You go first. Let me think, Wow. <laughs> that's a good question. Because I'm like, great, like, advice, like... I don't Because I feel like we've all been in that situation. We've all been in a... We've all been in a hospital bed, just you know. I, I guess waiting, waiting until the next day, waiting to. Oh my God, I got therapy in the morning, or you know, I got occupational therapy, physical therapy, you know, whatever, you know. But for somebody that may be watching this, like I don't know, like I don't know, like what advice would you give them? I don't know. I definitely would say. Okay, this is. Let me think. Let me even think out of a word. This. I would definitely say like. <laughs> I know I said this in the pod, my podcast, if mm-hmm. I remember, but like educate yourself. Like, mm-hmm. don't. I know it's a sad situation. It is mm-hmm. like and you can acknowledge that, and it's not fun. But like, the world's already ignorant to our disabilities. Don't mm-hmm. be ignorant yourself, like to mm-hmm. it. Like, learn it. Try to dive into it just a little bit, because okay. I don't know. To me, at least for me, to me, it may help me like love myself a little more. And that's another thing. I was like. I know we always talk about the physical aspect of the yeah. injury, but there's also, especially I'm at least for like I'm sure for females, like you f- don't feel beautiful anymore. And there's also that self love journey, which they don't really teach you in rehab. Mm. So Dang, I never, I never yeah. looked at it like that. Yeah, I'm sure it's for you guys too. I'm sure some guys feel like maybe emasculated. Or something. I don't know. Like I'm not handsome enough. Uh, not handsome. Yeah. Like I'm sure they go through their own insecurities. Mm-hmm. Um, but speaking from like a girl perspective. I mean, yeah. Ashley, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Of course. So. Yeah, I just think it's important to like remember that it's it is a physical journey as well, but sometimes a uh, rehab just tells us about that, and they forget. I think to mention that it's there's a lot of things going on mentally too, and. Yeah, that could bring you to a dark place, if, even if you know how to do everything and mm-hmm. became independent. At least from what I've seen, just because mm-hmm. me and Ashley really dive into the community after our injury, so I've seen, mm-hmm. I've seen different people how they react to different situations, and it's definitely mm-hmm. there's a self love journey behind there, especially for females. I know, like for us personally, like learning to love yourself, learning to dress yourself again. Like I don't know where the clothes mm-hmm. you like then, or you even dress your like. Change your, your style. New body, really. yeah, dress your new body. I mean, and it's different. Like I'm sure for a quad and a para, like yeah, learning to love yourself love again. My titties. Yeah, you. No. Your body. <laughs> You're high. I can't believe nah. you said that. It's understandable. <laughs> but you really do. Your body does change a lot. Like it really does. Like, and even as just like we were. Tw- what, how old were you when you got injured? 24 going. Down we were 24, 25. so even I guess for like someone who's even young injured, like your body's also going to be changing just because of age. Mm-hmm. So you also have to like keep that in mind too. Like yeah. I don't know, I was just thinking about this day because I lost like when I first got injured and out the hospital, I was like balding. It probably doesn't tell now, but it finally grew back. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I was losing. I ain't gonna lie. I was losing hair too. Like, like I felt like my hair was falling out. Like it was. It was. It was. Yes. Yeah. But my doctor said it was probably just stress. It's the trauma. It's the trauma. Yeah. It's gonna grow back, but at the time you're not. You're not thinking it's gonna grow back. You're like every look at everything else that's changed. Why would this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Come back, like I don't know. And, and like you, I, I did a podcast the other day with um with somebody else and I really let me see I really didn't I would say I didn't really look at it from a female's perspective but I'm pretty sure you guys can kind of relate yes. and she brought up her scars and she she brought up like you know how I guess women are not not really insecure but you know like how it is when y'all I guess when it comes to looks you know hair makeup you know stuff like that and she and like to me, I, you know, I told her that my scars wasn't really a big thing to me, but for her it was, you know. So I feel like that was one thing that I really like. I, 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 not that I didn't understand, but I really didn't look at it from from a female's perspective of like stuff like that. So like how you guys just mentioned, I never really looked at it from you guys' perspective because I'm a guy going through this. So I don't really look at it like that. So, but it is kind of dope to you know do these interviews and really get some insight from you guys. So it's actually pretty cool. Because mm. mm. you guys actually educate me. Oh. Mm-hmm. I feel like I get educated every time I gotta watch something. Like I know mm-hmm. for me, my scars never bothered me. But I'm also always beating myself up. So like, <laughs> like not beating myself, but I'm clumsy. So like, I got scars even not from my accident. Like. Yeah. Me too. Me too. So, me but too. I know for you, you, your scars like bothered you. Yeah, they bothered me, especially this one. The other one's not so much. What's that one? My trait. Oh, tra- is that Girl. a trait of scar? Yeah, I mean, look at it. Yeah, look. Yeah. A hole in the neck? Oh, I didn't know if it was a wound <laughs> yeah. or something. It is. It doesn't. I mean, I don't know. I. I don't know. I guess for guys, it really doesn't really bother us like that. I mean, for some guys, I'm pretty sure it's a lot differently. But I mean, for me, they really didn't bother me like that. And like, even on my stomach, like, like I like I got a it's, a, it's like a T, it's like that, you know. But it really don't bother me like that. I don't know. I don't know. It, I, I don't, to, to me, it really doesn't matter. I mean, it's there, but it doesn't really matter like that. It fades a little bit over time. That's yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know. Definitely, I don't know. Well, I think it bothered me at first a lot, and I just think just over time, like, mm-hmm. I would have never probably worn, like, for when I first got injured, a t-shirt that showed my trick, and now I, like, don't care. Like, yeah. <laughs> it, it, not that I, like, I don't really have a big problem with it, but sometimes I do, you know, do like that. So maybe it might be a slight insecurity right there, but, mm-hmm. you know, but it but it does show, though, that, look, it's deep, you know, it, but I mean, it really doesn't bother me like that. But if I like, if I notice it, then I like, you know. But but like for the most part, it really don't bother me too much. Yeah, I feel like that's interesting. Like, doesn't because some people mm. have scars willingly. Think about that, people. You said what? Say it again. People have scars willingly. You know, they get the sur- they get the mm. surgeries willingly. No, not like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> because. Makes my words, but it's true. I feel like the self, I don't know, the self love journey with an yeah. injury is like they definitely don't talk to you about that in rehab. So mm-hmm. I guess bringing it back to the advice, I think it's love important yourself. Yeah, to, to yes. learn yourself. I actually think it'd be really cool to like do something with women empowerment, you know, especially mm-hmm. with girls in chairs because I know it's, I know it's hard. Like, yeah. Your body's changed, especially for young, I mean, at least me and Ashley's experience, young girls in chairs, like, and I'm sure for you, mm-hmm. like, the, like your body, changes. like your body changes over time. It does. It does. You know, like you, you lose muscle mass in your legs and stuff like that. Your legs get a little smaller. So it does. Uh, it does. It does. Especially when, you know, you look at old pictures of yourself or, um, I don't know, just like little stuff, or like you see your legs and you feel like they look a little bit smaller. So you ask somebody and they be like, yeah, but not really. But then you know, yeah, they really do. You're like, yeah. Like yeah. People can't pose the same. Yeah, true. <laughs> Back. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> you really can't. You can't like ever look in the mirror. Like, how does that look? Like, you really can't <laughs> kill me. You can't. Like, these no, you are can. things people don't ever like. I don't know. Yeah. Like, 
never talked about that. Just like, yeah. Like hey, that, but- to me, I was able to adapt quick. Like that part, mm-hmm. didn't, I don't, it stressed me, but it was like, it was like learning to love myself again. That was kind of hard. Like, mm, okay. Accepting that the act, that it happened and like, it's time to like, Anybody's gonna change. Mm-hmm. Anybody's gonna change. Like or not. Yeah. Or not. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Somebody. Somebody told me that the little tins device, the little electric thing, the little thing that like not like it kind of like shocks you or something like that. They Maybe said that that. that they said that that can help with with muscle mass in your legs if you put that on your legs. That's what I heard. I ain't never tried it or I ain't heard it from no professional, but that's just some advice that somebody gave me. I heard mm-hmm. that in spasms. The having spasms keeps your muscle tight. Oh, I'm too. good. No, I'm just kidding. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> just spazzing this whole podcast. Oh, no, like my legs. Mm. Are oh, for real? I I never noticed it. I never noticed it. Is it bad? Yeah, it's really bad right now. Mm, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> she out. just knows how to like chill on it. I mean, we do um, live podcasts a lot, so she'd be mm. like. She'd just be chilling. I'm sure, you're gonna re- rewatch and you're gonna be like, "Oh yeah, she was moving a lot." <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. I feel like I'm wobble. always moving though too, because like I'm nervous. <laughs> Look, I trust me. I'm more nervous than you guys are. All right, I know when I got to set up. I'm setting up with all these lights, with the color lights in the background. You know, so. Trust me, I'm way more nervous than you guys are. So you know, I got these questions I want to ask. You know, this is you know a little stuff. So. You know, you got to make it interesting. You got to make it fun, you know. So, that's it. Uh-huh. So, trust me. I'm way more nervous than you guys are. That's why, I, like, I try to tell everybody that. I, I, I really try to tell everybody. If anybody tells me that they're nervous, I tell them, I, trust me, I'm more nervous than you are. I really am. I, like, I really, like, I'm nervous for y'all come on. And then when y'all come on, I'm nervous. Like, so. No, we're happy to be on, right, Ev? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. Okay. Well, look. <laughs> <laughs> She has a nickname that I call her, and I just call her it, and she doesn't like when I call her it. <laughs> like when you, no, she only likes when I call her it. So okay. Like, all right, then. All right, then. All right, then. We ain't going to ask the nickname then. Okay. All right, then. Well, look, I appreciate you guys coming on the podcast again. <laughs> um, I think both of you guys' story was was definitely really amazing to listen to. It is 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 really... It's shocking how how quickly that you guys. Well, it's shocking how far that you come with in so little time, because I know three years after my incident, I was still in that depression phase. Like I was going, like I was literally going through. I was literally in the transition of going through it and then coming out of it. But like I don't like I feel like I just lost so much time. Just, uh, just I don't know, just dealing with old stuff. But, you know, but like like how you said you guys really just dove into it as soon as you guys got out of the hospital. Like, I know for a fact that you guys did because if you guys got paralyzed in, two, you said 2019, correct? Yeah. Right? If you guys got paralyzed in 2019, I feel like I've been seeing y'all for like two years. <laughs> like, I've been like, so it's just like, damn, like y'all only got paralyzed in 2019. Like, so y'all really was on top of it as soon as you guys got out the hospital. And I feel like that that's that that that's truly inspirational for people out there, mm-hmm. like and 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 I feel like what you guys said is is correct. You you got to inform yourself, all right. And that's something that I feel like that it took me a while to do, but I feel like that the quicker that you do it, then the quicker that you'll be able to you know start loving yourself more. And then, and then and then also like the easier things become for you, you know. So. That's what it was to me, right? As soon as I informed myself of my disability, I was able to really just get things together. Like, I, like I'm telling you, Bow yes. Care took me two years. All right, it took wow. me two years. It took okay. me two years. So, so yeah. Just me. I just feel like Ashley and I definitely we we got thrown into a lot of like. Sometimes I, I'm like, man, I wish we had more time. But yeah, especially because mm-hmm. yeah, because the mental side, and I won't lie, we may seem like all happy, but we have hard days. Like it gets overwhelming and stuff. You we know what? I want, I want to, I want to, I want to touch on that. But if you don't, mm-hmm. if you don't want to, you don't have to. But I do want to touch on it only because I went through it. 
You might not look. Look, you might not think so. I went through it. All right. I I ended up in a mental institution. All right. Well, I don't even know if that's what you call it. Yeah. Yeah. But I. But look. I talk about it in a podcast that I did the other day w- with the girl I told you about. Like we talk about that, right? Mm-hmm. But, but like it was something that I never really got to share. It was something that I feel like I was always kind of embarrassed to talk about. But when I finally got in there and I really accepted it, I was able. I was able. Like it. It just made everything better. Like, and I felt like that once I got up out of there, it was like it was like a weight was lifted off my shoulders. You know, so, you know, just talk, just, just really getting everything off my chest, talking to somebody and this just, I feel like just talking to people who didn't know me, you know, it was like, it really, it really helped me out because I feel like just talking to somebody who, who you don't know, they really can't judge you too much. Yeah. All right. You know, so I don't know. I feel like, I feel like that the mental aspect is, is a big thing that not too many people talk about, No, it's you know, uh, because, because like I tell my wife all the time. Somebody might look like they happy on social media, but they not posting up, you know, the, the bad stuff. They ain't posting up the downs. They only posting up the ups. They ain't posting up the downs. All right. And and unfortunately, like that's I, I, I feel like I feel like that in a way that that's one negative side of, of social media is that you only really post out there what you want people to see. Like you ain't gonna post up the bad stuff. You, you know, like the days that you're going through it. Some people will, but but yeah. for the most part, everybody ain't posting up that, you know, so I don't know. It's true. It's true. And that's what, like, I try to share some bad parts. Obviously, you don't want to share. I don't want to share everything yeah. that's, true. like, bad. But, true. I mean, I get, I have my days just mm-hmm. like, for like, I guess anyone else. Yeah. Um, I've shared on my social medias about, like, I had started therapy about a year after my accident. Mm-hmm. Um, and... I never share this like publicly, but I don't really care. But mm. I do have PTSD and major anxiety, like after my accident. Mm. But you probably wouldn't tell, like on social media. But that's mm. like why I smoke weed. That's why mm. I do certain things to like yeah. counteract it, so I'm able to live like a normal life now. Yeah. Mm. You know? And honestly, that's why I started smoking weed too. It we help with so many different things. Mm-hmm. It's like it, I'm, I'm, it's one of the miracle drugs, <laughs> All right? So, yes. well, miracle medicines. Right? And also yeah. finding your community, like finding your people. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Like mm. this community will, you know, there's not every, not on every wheelchair you, you're going to get along with each other, but there is, there's your people in this community. Like it's a big, small community. Like mm-hmm. there's so many people out there to connect with and that'll yeah. help a lot to see that you're not like alone. Right? Mm-hmm. So many people. To yeah, me and Ashley through. met someone who has like similar, like not like they're injured with their sister, and they have a similar story, like home life. Mm-hmm. And you feel so alone. You meet someone, you're like, oh, like it's the same. Yeah. Like we're not the only ones. Yeah, you know, who like I guess don't have as much support as you would hope. Mm-hmm. But it is what it is. Like we all learn to move on and adapt, and. Mm-hmm. And then I'm sure there's someone out there who can relate to someone who does have a lot of it. Like there's a ton. There's like there's your people out there. That's I guess what I'm trying yeah. to say. Someone out there probably has a very right. parallel story to you. You're right. Mm-hmm. You're right. You're right. I I definitely understand. Now, mm-hmm. do you feel like do you feel like therapy is helping you? Oh yes. Mm-hmm. I was doing it weekly for a while and sometimes mm-hmm. on call like weekly and then like whenever I wanted to just call her I could and now I do it bi-weekly so okay just how much I was doing it before to now I'm able to more self-regulate like for me the anxiety and PTSD were, was really bad and I really wanted to like drive without being scared mm. I wanted to enjoy it and now I do enjoy it but there's just like little things like that also like managing our life like I do myself and Ashley's care Sometimes mm-hmm. it's overwhelming. I get anxious. I worry about the future. Like, what if something happens? Yeah. To me? What if something happens to her? Mm-hmm. Like, all these things, and I'm like, and what would we both do? Yeah. So it's a lot of anxiety, but I've learned to like just take things day by day. Mm-hmm. That's what helped me. Like, oh, just take it day by day. Try your hardest. Mm-hmm. But shit, I, still, I still have my days. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah, like I still have. My we days. all do. Mm-hmm. Trust me. Trust me, we all do. It's a, yeah. And I'm pretty sure there's, 
I'm pretty sure that there are people out there that can relate. Yes. So, so you're not that. alone. You're not alone. And there's high support groups out there. There's like everything. Exactly. Hotlines, everything. Mm-hmm. You know. So like there like there's someone out there with your story. And I, mm. I go to side support groups. Not like all the time, but it's nice to go when you're just feeling they're usually like weekly. It's nice yeah. to go when you just need like maybe like a just a little bit of like a kick in the butt to keep going. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like I would like to go. I, I feel like I should go a lot more. I feel like I don't go as enough as I should. Um, I feel like maybe I just want to go just to talk. Just to talk to somebody. That's it. You know, but I I definitely feel like that. Um, at one, I feel like everybody should talk to somebody. It's, ve- it's very therapeutic, like, honestly. But, you know, for somebody that goes through a, such a traumatic situation, you know, as far as, like, I don't know, like becoming a paraplegic or a quadriplegic, it is... It's some things that we're harboring that you kind of need to get off your chest sometimes, mm-hmm. you know, and and a lot of people, unfortunately, like they hold it in. And me personally, I learned that is not the way to handle things is like, as, 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 as strong as a per- as strong as a person that you think that you might be holding things in is the wrong way to go about it. Mm-hmm. It could it could be very detrimental. Like it's. Oh, yeah sucks all right so yeah anybody there anybody out there who's watching it and you're thinking about going to, uh it's like therapy like trust me it is is very helpful so i would definitely recommend it it helped me out it helped me out mm-hmm. I'm saying that again yeah. finding the community like if you exactly. don't want to do therapy find the community there's Mm-hmm. Out there. that's like my advice for sure like yeah. that's helped me a lot i have a few girls that i can call which is always mm-hmm. nice because they get it mm-hmm. and i feel like we don't talk about that as much i feel like i feel like it's one of those taboo things that is is just like i feel like not that we're all fighting it but like we're all fighting some form of it you know mm-hmm. and it's just like you just don't want to nobody wants to talk about it you know and mm-hmm. but so. it's not all cute and pretty all the time it's not it's not it's mm-hmm. not, but I, I I hate to kind of end it on like a somber note, like right, <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Oh, Jeopardy in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not. But I feel like that these are things that we need to talk about, though. Yeah, these are things that need to be discussed. So mm-hmm. I, so I really, I really appreciate you. Yeah. I really appreciate y'all really giving y'all input on it and you know talking about it because people really do go through things. Yeah, I agree. Listen, Ashley listen. didn't really say anything. Yeah, she was kind of quiet over there. Kind of quiet over here on this topic. I Do you mean, have anything to say? You guys were saying it. I mean, it's it's hard. I mean, you know, but I mean, but I understand too at the same time, you know, because I feel like that I get. I'm looking at two different. I'm looking at two different perspectives. Somebody who is more open to talk about it, and somebody who who I would say is just more reserved. You know, like it's it's just not a topic that you might not. Few words. What happened? I'm a woman of few words. It, you know, it's understandable. You know, so you, <laughs> you know. live in your podcast. <laughs> no, I mean it's it's hard. Like, duh, mm-hmm. it's hard. With this everything, but I, you know, sometimes I just try to remind myself to ebb and flow of life. That's what she's always going to have bad days. You're going to have good days. It's all good. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. Let go in the guy. Yeah. Exactly. Well, look, I appreciate both of you guys coming on. And if you guys haven't seen the podcast episode that I do with both of them, I will link them down there below. Also, their channel is down there below. Make sure you guys go check them out. Ashley and Nikki, they on YouTube. All links below. Thank you guys for coming on the channel. Peace.